Hey guys, it's Lexi. Today's video is going to be a super requested video and I'm only doing this mainly because every time I ask for video suggestions I get a million comments of you guys saying that you want an updated what's on my iPhone video. So that's what I'm going to be giving you. I already have two of these on my channel, but my iPhone has changed quite a bit and also I'm going to be showing you my photo editing apps. So you're kind of getting a two-in-one. You're going to see what's on my iPhone and all my photo editing apps, like how I edit my pictures, stuff like that. So yeah, without further ado, I will get started, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Okay, so as you can see here, I just have the plain white iPhone 5. It's not the 5S, it's not the 4, it is just the iPhone 5. And the case that I have on it now is this pineapple case, and it's really cute, and it just has a gold pineapple on it, and it's pink. And if you want to see where it's from, go on my Instagram because I posted a picture, and tagged where it's from because it's from like an Instagram shop. And also, if you want an updated case collection, give this video a thumbs up, so I know, because I've also been seeing a lot of requests for that. And also on the front of my phone, I have this little home button sticker thing and it's from Target and it's just pink and has like white crisscrosses on it So starting with what's actually on my phone my home screen It just looks like this and I got it from tumblr and it just has a bunch of different like Sunsets and I love it and I do have a passcode on so I'll enter that real quick And my home screen is also from tumblr and it's really pretty it just has a rainbow sunset beach thing Yeah, I really like sunsets and tumblr so I kind of have them combined on my home screens and yeah now on to the apps that I have So as you can see on the bottom I just have four apps and they are phone which is obviously just the phone app my emails safari and the music app and then i have two pages of apps and i will just start with the first page which is pretty basic and i just have the messages app the calendar app photos camera maps weather notes reminders clock itunes app store game center settings FaceTime, and then I have this little folder that's just called useless because they are like the apps that I can't delete and I just never use them. So they are just stocks, newsstand, passbook, and videos. So that's the completed first page of apps and now I'm going to move on to the second page. And the first one is utilities and that's kind of also boring stuff. And I just have contacts, calculator, compass, and voice memos. Then we have the app that I'm guessing a lot of you are excited to see and that is my photo app which is what I edit all of my Instagram pictures with and I'll kind of go in detail with all of these. The first one is Fonto and what you do with Fonto is you just load a picture. I will just load a random picture of Ariana Grande. Yeah. And then you can just add any caption and just I'll put hi. And it's really hard for me to see because I'm looking through a viewfinder. But yeah, you can change text, font, style, size. You can tilt it, move it, anything, and just add text. Then I have Photo Rust. And basically on Photo Rust, you can do lots of fun things to your pictures. You can just do editing. You can make a rounded edge collage. You can make it look like you have a Polaroid and lots of other things. You can make a GIF. And yeah, I just have this app even though I barely use it. The next app is Pick Effects. And let me tell you, I love Pick Effects so much. It is probably my most used photo editing app. And it's just a lot of amazing filters. This dress that I took the other day, don't crop it. And basically what you can do is you can just add some fun filters and stuff. And my favorite filter is the PFX5. Next one is Pape Look and on Pape Look you just can do collages and stuff. Then you have Afterlight and Afterlight you can basically do anything. You can do filters, change contrast, saturation. You can make your pictures have like really cool shapes and I will show you that real quick because that's kind of my favorite thing on here. Like the last thing is shapes and yeah you can change your picture to any cool shape to post on Instagram and yeah this is kind of what I love about this app. Then I have photo collage and it's pretty self-explanatory. You can just make a collage and you can also make it have no borders fit to whatever size you like and I really like this app for collages. Next I have Photo Studio and there's only one thing I really use this app for and that is the 3D filter. So I just loaded this random selfie to the app and I'm just gonna press choose and then well I don't know what I press but basically what you can do is just go on the um, effects and then press number 9 and that is the 3D one and yeah that's pretty much the only thing I use this app for and it'll give like your picture a really cool 3D effect. Then I have Square Ready which is pretty basic. All you do is just add a picture and it will add a white border around it and I will do this panorama. Yeah, why not? And so yeah, it's a pretty messed up panorama but basically what you can do is just like change your picture if you want it to show like all the way, if you want it to just be like that 
and yeah it's kind of up to you it just adds white borders and the last app in this folder is touch blur and all you can do is just blur things so I use this if like I accidentally have like some personal information or something in one of my pictures and I will show you for example wow these pictures are really old what you can do is just select a picture and then you can blur out anything you don't want and yeah it's great if you like accidentally have personal information on a picture that you don't really want. Yeah that's kind of a quick overview of my photo editing apps. I can go more in detail in another video if you guys would like me to but the next folder I have is Instagram and it's kind of alone because there's like no other apps in there but it's just photogram and I just use it to manage all of my Instagram accounts and if Instagram's not working you can just go on this. My next folder is a fun one and it is the arcade folder and I have quite a few just fun games in here and the first one is Akinator. So basically what you do on this app is you think of a person and then you answer yes or no questions about the person and then they will guess who it is and it's almost always accurate so that's really cool. And then I have a Flappy Bird and I know it's like removed off the app store but I still have it so yeah it's really fun and I'm not that good at it. And yeah, I kind of just died on purpose there, but my high score is 42. Then I have Heads Up, and it was created by Ellen, and it's a really fun game. And it's just kind of like charades, and yeah, it's just really cool, and there's all these different um, categories. Next up is Piano Tiles, and all you do on this app is just avoid the white tile. Then I have Unblock Me, and it's really cool, and it's just kind of a puzzle game. Then I have 2048, and it's just kind of like Sudoku, not really. What you do is you just want to combine these number things, and you want to get to 2048. So basically, you combine numbers, and they will just add together, and they have to be the same number. And I'm really bad at explaining things, but if you get the game, you'll get it pretty fast. And then I also have Doge 2048, and it's pretty much just like 2048, except you have the Doge meme, and yeah, it's really cute. I honestly prefer this game because they're like GIFs and it's just a lot more fun to play. So that's all my games on the arcade folder and I will be moving on to the next one which is social and that is my favorite folder. So the first app I have on here is Instagram and yeah I'm on Instagram all the time and I love Instagram and I'm always posting on there so what am I pressing? I don't even know. If you want to follow me on Instagram my username is just it's me Lexi one and I like to like your guys' pictures and I love to view your edits and stuff so yeah if you want to follow me on there feel free to and yeah I just pretty much post updates of my life in picture form and yeah definitely follow me on there. Then I have Tumblr and I love Tumblr and I actually prefer the app to the computer version and yeah, I'm just on this every so often and I just really like looking at cool pictures and gifts and all that sort of stuff. And if you want to follow me on there, my Tumblr is xfloralvibes. Then I just have Ask FM, and I don't really use that that much because I deactivated my account. Then the next app that I have is Twitter and you should definitely follow me on Twitter because I've been tweeting a lot lately and also I did a follow spree. I also love to tweet you guys back, DM you sometimes, follow you, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, just be sure you're following me on there. My username is also it's me Lexi one and you can just get updates and pictures and tweets about my life and stuff. And oh my god, this was like the worst selfie I ever took. My first selfie. So ugly, like honestly, that was fifth grade. And yeah, be sure to follow me on there. Then I just have Snapchat and that's a private one. Then I just have ProTube which is basically the YouTube app. I just don't like the actual YouTube app. This one works a lot smoother in my opinion. And then I have Vine and I love Vine so much and if you want to follow me on there my username is Lexi. It's really hard to find. So that was the social folder and now moving on to video. I just have three apps in here and I have the iMovie app that is really out of date because I haven't updated it in forever and then I have the Square Ready video app and it just puts kind of like white borders around a video if you want to post that on Instagram and then I have Vine Yet or Vignette however you pronounce it and you can just like use videos from your camera roll to post on Vine or Instagram and then the last folder I have is just kind of random stuff I just titled it lol and yeah the first one I have is characters and if you ever see on Instagram or Twitter I like to put like little symbols I really like the empty heart one and like the crown and that sort of stuff and I just have all the symbols on this app so basically you can just copy and paste them and then use it anywhere you'd like and I have the pink pad app for that time of the month which is kind of embarrassing but I also have the Starbucks app 
And then I have Wig Flip, which is actually just the website. But I use it sometimes to make like cool edits and pictures and stuff. And then I have T0, which is just a countdown app. And I have some countdowns to some fun things like summer, my birthday, IMAT. And then lastly, I have iFunny, which just has funny pictures, GIFs, videos, all that. And whenever I'm bored, I just like to go on there and see what they have. So that was the last folder. And that is everything that is on my iPhone. I hope you guys enjoyed this incredibly requested video and I'm sorry if I'm like holding my phone to a tilt because I noticed I've been doing that a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you have any video requests let me know down below and yeah I will see you guys next time and if you enjoyed this video let me know and comment your favorite app down below because I'm always looking for fun new apps and yeah that's the end of this video and I love you all. Bye! You're like